to introduce my newest hire, Mr. Philip Carlisle. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, pleasure. And what is your name, Mr. Carlisle? I don't have a name. Everyone is on that. Sir, sir, you better come see this. We got a bit of a nasty element outside. Ah, there always is. Nothing brings a crowd or quite like a crowd. Go home, you freaks. Yeah. You're offensive and decent. You don't need your kind of ass game. You should be wiped off the face of the earth. Then they call me offensive and indecent. Why, they probably should have complimented me so much. You can't tell, but I'm blushing. It's that Mr. Bennett's doing. Why do you care what Bennett thinks? He's just a reporter. And a snob. Yeah, all the snobs in New York are reading whatever he puts on the paper. Phil, what do you have on this issue? Well, by order of Queen of England, I invite Mr. Phineas T. Barnum and his theatrical group of oddities to reception at Buckingham Palace. The Queen Victoria? Is this real? Yeah, I figured if you want society to accept you, might as well start at the very, very top. Are we all invited? Well, of course, I just thought either, no, either all of us come or none of us will. Ah, Queen of England? Can't get much better than that. Woo! <laughs> Barnum's Act traveled to London to perform for the Queen of England. Your Majesty, Mr. Phineas T. Barnum and his oddities from America. Your Majesty, may I present to you Mr. Barnum. The pleasure is mine, Mr. Barnum. I've heard all about you and your little colonel from my friends in America. Ma'am, I am a general. Oh my, you're even smaller than I imagined. Well, you're not exactly reaching the top shelf yourself, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you Swedish Nightingale, Miss Jenny Lynn.
to Barnum. What are you guys doing here? You guys got a show in one hour, okay? That's more than enough time for us to come and meet her and all your good friends. Yeah, but it is overcrowded in here, and I can't let you be meeting them in a while. And plus, no one's going to pay admission if you're not out there for the entire world to see. Now have a great show.
Just find a cheapest musician that you can find. Yeah, but you want to buy a set of props, fireworks, and you still have to pay this much. Nah, don't worry. I took out a loan. A large loan, okay? Yeah, but you're not going to see a penny prop until you're 40 in the show. What? Less and less people come every night. There are more and more protesters every day. People come to see you, your new acts. Be unusual. <laughs> show them your smile. That's unusual. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. I gotta go with me and Anna's with you. I've always wanted to see a perfect theater. Philip, is that you? Mother, father, this is Ann Wheeler. Philip, have you no shame? Associate yourself with this fire, Phil, is one thing, but parading around with this. Ow! Wait, Ann, Ann, wait. How dare you guys talk to me like that? You forget your place, Philip. My place? Mother, this is my place. I don't want any part of it. Very well, then. Why do you care what they say? They're just small-minded people. It's not just them. It's everyone. You don't have anyone looking at you the way your parents look at me. Everyone will look at us the same disgusting way. Mm. You know I want you. It's not a secret I try. I know you want me. So don't keep saying I'm here. Mm. Claim it's not even done. 